Electronics on the floor today, we'll discuss how you can pull apart an O-Bike. But first of all, some background. O-Bike was a Singaporean company that tried to implement a bike share system in Melbourne and other cities around the world. The idea was you could download the O-Bike mobile phone app, pay some money to join as a member, and then be able to hire these bikes for short trips. One thing distinctive about O-Bike is it's a dockless bike share system. That means there is no infrastructure to hold the bikes overnight. Instead, the bikes were left on the street. So you could come across an O-Bike, book it through the app, ride it to your destination and leave it outside there. That meant that O-Bikes could be ridden anywhere. They weren't limited to the small geographic area that a dock type bike share system was. And O-Bikes were found everywhere, not only on the street, but also in the river, up a tree, and in many other places. This one was found on a street near here, more than 30 kilometres from the central city. O-Bike failed and is no longer operating in Melbourne. There's many reasons for it. Not only was there the vandalism and the dumping, but here in Melbourne we have compulsory helmet laws. And people don't carry bike helmets with them, in the off chance that they might want to ride a higher bike. Another factor is that in the central city, tram travel is free. Why pay for an O-Bike when you can hop on a tram? Another factor is that Melbourne is a much less friendly city for cycling than many European cities. We don't have a lot of bike infrastructure and on the roads where you can ride bikes, traffic volumes are high. Urban cycling for transport then is largely confined to people willing to take a bit of risk and mix it with the cars on the open road. Those sites of people probably already own their own bike and if they do, it will be a lot better than this. For instance, it will be lighter and have gears. Anyway, that's a bit of the story of why O-Bike did not succeed in Melbourne. The thing that differentiates an O-Bike from a regular bike is this locking mechanism. The unlocking mechanism is solar powered, presumably there's a battery inside to charge, and it's unlocked by communication through your mobile phone, which in turn communicates with the O-Bike app. Unlike more advanced shared bike systems, these do not have their own GPS and tracking systems. Instead, it relies on location through the user's mobile phone. There's a little push button here. It shows there's a bit of power. This is a bit loose. It's a nice little piezo buzzer. You can see what I think is an antenna. This may be a voltage regulator. There's not a lot I'm going to get out of this apart from the solar panel, the battery and maybe the piezo buzzer. It's a bright sunny day, so just measuring the voltage from the solar panel and nearly six volts, making it very useful for a lot of projects. As for the battery, that's about 3.6 volts.
And as for the bike, that works fine as well.